Next question is from Martial Arts 44. I'm bulking right now. Should I worry about getting my vegetables in during meals while trying to meet a higher caloric intake or just focus on the meat and potatoes? Mm. Aren't potatoes uh, potatoes vegetables too? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know that doesn't count here. Um, so here's the thing. Let's start with essential and move down, okay? What is essential? Um, fats, proteins, and then if bulking calories are essential. You can't you're not going to bulk or build if you don't have adequate calories. One of the challenges with bulking, especially if you have a fast metabolism, so I'm speaking from a position of like I had a very fast metabolism. I know Adam can identify with this as well. You have to prioritize the the calories first because otherwise it ain't going to happen. Mm-hmm. If I eat the vegetables first, it was it was hard enough getting enough calories when I wasn't focusing on the vegetables, let alone eating the vegetables first. Now, here's where that can hurt you. If you start to have digestive issues or you get constipated it because fills you're not, you up a lot. Yeah, and you're not eating enough you know, uh, fiber from vegetables, then you're not going to bulk well either because when your digestion is off, good luck trying to eat enough calories, mm-hmm. in which case I say, listen to your body. But you know, here's the thing. You could go the rest of your life without eating uh, vegetables. You can't go the rest of your life without eating proteins and fats. So those are the essential things that probably should be focused on first. I think we, we've, 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 it's been hammered in our heads that vegetables are, are good for oh, us I know. to the point where we think, and they are, I'm not saying they're bad. I do, they do have health benefits, but now it's gotten to the point where people think that they, that is the most important thing. Mm-hmm. It's actually not, uh, you know, if you well, don't get- that's a very it, common thought if you talk to people these days, like the most, the, the, they prioritize that food group over anything else right now because of all the information that they're getting bombarded yeah, and, with. And for the average person that needs to eat less uh, yeah. because they eat too many calories- Kind of makes sense, but again, protein and fats are essential. They're essential. If you don't eat enough of those, literally, and I'm I'm going extreme here, but if you really eat, don't eat enough of them, your body will fail to thrive. Now that being said, here's an example where I I love using things like supplements. Okay, here's where like the Organifi green juice is is valuable to me for somebody who if I had a client who's saying that like Adam when I, you know I know you're telling me that I should get all these vegetables in addition to all these I'm having a hard time I'm filling up like crazy when I have a big bowl of broccoli or have a bunch of asparagus um, but I, I understand the benefits of getting those micronutrients and extra fiber and like I know I want to do that but it's 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 getting in the way of me hitting my targets calorie wise then, then don't, and then this is where I would supplement someone and drink that. You can still get the benefits of those micronutrients that you'd be getting from eating all those vegetables, and drinking those calories is a lot easier. So I might have a client like this who is struggling to hit the calorie intake because they're filling up on green so much, and that might be someone that I utilize this. So mm-hmm. that's a, a decent strategy so you don't feel like you're missing out on a lot of those micronutrients, and then you're also not feeling like you're filling up because you can't quite get the calories. Yeah. Totally, totally. But again, if your lack of vegetable intake is causing you, you know, let, let's say you're you're a hard gainer and you're, you know, you need to eat 3,500 calories a day, which is uh, not unheard of. In fact, I used to have to eat more than that to put on weight. Uh, but let's say you had to eat 3,500 calories a day. That on an everyday basis is can be a bit of a chore. Now, I know people listening right now who have problem with, with weight gain and they want to lose weight. You're probably, you know, you're, you're look, your your eyebrows probably lifting, and you're thinking that this is ridiculous. I wish I had that problem, but it really is an issue for someone who's trying to bulk who has a fast metabolism. It's a pain in the butt to eat 3,500 calories, for example, every single day. You start to feel like you're force feeding yourself. If your digestion is off, you're screwed. Mm. If you get bloated or you're constipated, now you're now you don't want to eat. It's like you you can't force yourself to eat more the the amount of calories that you need to eat, and that can happen sometimes with lack of vegetables. I've had clients like this where, you know, they had to eat a lot of calories because they were trying to gain, and their digestion was off, and then they were screwed. So we added vegetables to improve motility and digestion, and voila, they were able to eat more. So at the end of the day, you got to listen to your body as well. So if you find that you know prioritizing you know meat and potatoes is actually hurting you because your digestion's off because you're not eating enough vegetables, then eat some vegetables first.